Prices go up. Living it up. Living a dream, but don't wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Prices go up. Living it up. Living a dream, but don't wait. Hey, man. What are you listening to? Um, I, look, we not finna continue to say, do this same shit. You feel what I'm saying, my nigga? Like y'all, it seemed like y'all asked me the same. And I watched that shit last week. Why the fuck did your motherfucking ass sit there and be like, I wasn't talking. I ain't hear that shit. Like every single time I come into this motherfucker, the song that I'm listening to is my new track. Well, the, the track right after the one that I'm doing for this motherfucking interview. Stop asking dumb fucking questions. All right? Let's get into the uh, Genius interview. What gave me the motivation to make this song is just me simply wanting to do, like, a song that has like non-stop bars so many bars running back and forth a lot of bars going back to back to back i just want to have a song like that on every single track that i do on a big project i love it when you niggas get to hate and stack my money get my bread that's the end of conversation i don't care about you fake niggas eat off bro plate niggas um a lot of that was just simply self-explanatory i was just simply talking my shit i don't fuck with the eat off bro plate niggas i don't be fucking with those type of niggas because they be oh they be leeching and shit I got my own cake i can teach you how to bake niggas I got my own money. I can teach you how to bake niggas. I can teach you how to bake. And I'm saying niggas. I can teach y'all niggas how to bake. How do you make a cake? You have to bake in order to make a cake. Started from the bottom, Unk. Really got that Drake with him. I don't know if a lot of people caught that one, but started from the bottom, no, yeah. Unk really got that Drake with him. And then, like, my uncle. And then Drake, as in Drake, the nigga who made the song, started from the bottom. Bet his chopper sing, I ain't talking NLE. That line right there is another little self-explanatory line, my nigga. Hey, bro, cap. real quick, is that a new do rag? Like, I like that. Like the hey, hell yeah, cause my shit was faded the first time around. But Man, that then, shit fucking ass. What? See, I'm. You know what? Fuck this. Shit. Oh shit! Like I was, you lucky you had your bodyguards. But like I was saying, um, Betis Chopper saying I ain't talking to Nelly. Nelly Chopper, he he be rapping, but he be singing and shit too, harmonizing, singing, however you wanna say. Betis Chopper saying I ain't talking to Nelly. And Nelly Chopper and my bitch fine, yeah, I have to pay a fee. My bitch is fine, she bad as shit, and she's a what is a fee? It's a fine. You get you gotta pay them shits a fine. But oh, you gotta pay that fine, and you gotta pay that fee. So it's just a, a little play on words. On your bitch mind, now nah, I got her blowing me. On the ad lib with that one, I said bomb. So on your bitch mind, now nah, I got her blowing me. So I'm on, hey, I'm on her mind. And since I'm on her mind, now she blowing me. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. A mind, I'm on her mind, M I N D. And I'm also on, like, if you step on a, a landmine and shit like that, M I N E, if you step on one of those, what's gonna happen? You step on it, now, you step off that mother, it's gonna blow up. I be really stating facts, we united like the nation. Self explanatory, I just, hey, I be speaking facts and then we united like the nation. I'm saying the United Nation. Yeah, I used to keep that axe to swing at niggas like I'm Jason. Jason, he has a fucking machete. Look up when Jason used to have his axe and shit like that. That's the, that's the Jason I remember. And I wasn't saying that I used to run around the school buildings and shit like that, swinging at niggas with fucking uh, actual axe. No, I, I wasn't crazy like that. What I was saying was axe, as in the spray. A little cum You can call it cologne, the cologne spray and shit like that. That type of axe. Niggas stay asking for my shit back in the days. So whenever you swing it, you doing this shit. So, hey, I'm spraying that motherfucker. It was just a little talk shit line. I just wanted to add it in there. Man, I'm getting too impatient, like I really hate the waiting, eating down in Hell's Kitchen, bet they think I fuck with Satan. Now that line right there just shows how hard I try my best to make these fucking songs. I said, like I really hate the waiting, eating down in Hell's Kitchen, bet they think I fuck with Satan. Of course, I'm thinking, you think of uh, fucking Gordon Ramsay whenever you're saying uh, eating down in Hell's Kitchen. Whenever a person is impatient, they hate waiting. Like me, I'm a very impatient person. Whenever you are at a fucking restaurant of any type, you gonna have a waitress. Somebody's gonna be waiting you. I don't know if the word is actual is actually a word. Like, oh, who is waiting you? Or but or do they say who is your waitress? Y'all know that? Hell no, I don't know. Don't know. Hell that no, should make sense either, though, because y'all don't know. So if y'all don't know, it don't. All right, see, they don't know, so it makes sense. But I'm really closer to God. Hey, they think I fuck with Satan, but I'm really closer to God. Hell no. And then down, hell was kitchen. I forgot to explain that side of the bar too. But God is everything to me. He threw it up for the lob. I caught that pass like I'm robbed and put in work like a job. Those lines are mad simple. Um, he threw it up for the lob. Toss that bitch up. Y'all know what a lob is. Whenever NBA players run in, basketball players run in, jump in, throw up the lob, you catch the ball and dunk it in the basket. And caught the pass like I'm robbed. Rob Gronkowski. That's who I was referring to. Rob Gronkowski is a uh, NFL tight end for the uh, Buccaneers. He catch football. So I said, I caught the pass like I'm robbed and put in work like a job. 
hey, I slam that bitch down. Whenever you putting in that work, you at your job. Put in work like a job. You niggas can't keep up like a balloon without no helium. They can't keep up. They so far fucking behind me. Y'all should have added in a couple people behind me and shit like that, because that's just how it is. A balloon without no helium is not staying in the air. Whenever the helium starts to like just run out that motherfucker, it's gonna start to sink down. I love it when I wake up and see your bitch up in my DM. Take your insides out like a pumpkin. She damn near texted me now, I won't even hold you. But real shit though, she ain't texting me. Fuck. Y'all know whenever they making the jack-o'-lanterns and shit like that, they take out all of the insides of the pumpkin and shit. Black and white plus some 21, Tim Duncan. Turn 21, the day that I dropped, yeah, the day that I dropped my album and shit like that was on my 21st birthday. So it made sense for me to say this line. The ad lib says purrs. Y'all can see I'm fucking black, but I do got a little white mixed inside of me and shit like that. I have a feeling that my little brother's gonna be like, it was corny. Fuck you. My great great grandma was fucking, she was white. Rest in peace, y'all. Sorry. Tim Duncan's number is number 21. Tim Duncan also played for the San Antonio Spurs. And they jerseys, and they jerseys was always black and white. If a nigga want to smoke, tell him I'm about action. I ain't never ran from you clowns. That's the satisfaction. If I want it, then I take it like I'm Huxtable, nigga. Don't take that any other way. Like, that shit serious. We ain't talking about no, oh, I'm talking about, like, if a girl, if I want a girl and she deny me, I'm going to take that. No. We not, I wasn't talking about, like, I'm just saying in general. If I want something, like, it's a water bottle right here. That's your shit? It's my shit now. Maybe I shouldn't have said that because it's like I'm playing on it. But y'all know what the fuck Huxtable did. He took that shit. That's what they claim. That's what they claim. He did. We fall deep ready to eat like a Lunchable, nigga. Now, when I'm referring to that, I'm specifically talking about my family. It's me, my little brother, my mom, and my other little brother. You can add my little dog up in there, too. Shit. She 4A. We deep. Hey, we mobbing out this bitch. Type in Lunchable on your Google search and shit like that. It got four little deep hoes. Y'all should give me a Lunchable. But they usually are four deep with four what's name. Eat them shits, make a little sandwich and shit. Hey, we ready to eat. We ready to go crazy, get to the bag and shit. Disrespect on the homies, now you punchable, nigga. Niggas act as I on you and untouchable, nigga. Yeah, shit, you disrespect my homies. Hey, that's when you become punchable. That's when I just get to, you know, sizing your shit up. Fuck is you talking about? And then bring that bitch back just so I can rock your motherfucking face off your shit. Damn, my shit. God damn. Niggas actors. Niggas just be out here acting and shit. My nigga, you ain't, you not untouchable. So don't think that. When the Al Capone, he's an actor. I said, niggas, actors, Al Capone, you an untouchable nigga. He acted in the movie Untouchable. Now I'm about to slow it down like a fucking turtle. TMNT, the way I'm kicking and flipping these flows. I'm sorry, now I'm about to slow it down like a fucking turtle. A turtle, slow. And I said, TMNT, the way I'm kicking and flipping these flows. The way I'm kicking and flipping the flows of this shit is almost like TMNT, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leo, Raphael. Donatello and um, Mike, Mike and Mikey Angelo, all four of them. They was the t they are turtles, the fucking legends, gods. And a side note, add this in there, y'all got me. They also be kicking and flipping and shit like that. They kick niggas, you know. They that be their stance. You can type in TMC right now. I bet you see one of their feet up in the air. I was always Raphael, ripping my clothes. Now I call the little bitch Hogan. Y'all know Hulk Hogan. Ah, he get to ripping his clothes and shit like that. Don't want your baby little baby, so I use the Trojan. Yes, indeed. Fuck the bitch. She left a nigga broken. Lil Baby hit song. Yes, indeed. I manifested that shit. Y'all know how all of that shit came out. That Lil Baby was cheating on his girl and shit. Lil Baby ended up making a condom commercial. Lil Baby hit a nigga up. Shit, because I manifested you that bag. Fuck your nigga. I put the pussy in the ocean. They took him out because the fam left the nigga soaking. And whenever you dip something in the ocean and pull that motherfucker out, he's going to be soaking. And then I'm not talking about with water. My nigga, you know you was not about that life. I, bro, why the fuck would you say? I keep my fucking hands clean like I'm scared of COVID. Y'all know, if you scared of COVID and shit like that, and you, or, and, or you just want to be safe, you're going to keep your hands clean. I keep my fucking hands clean at all costs. I, I ain't do shit. Beat your fucking ass for acting smooth, call me Sid. The ad lib, I was like, yo. So think about it. I will beat your fucking ass for acting smooth, call me Sid. Little quick, little side note story and shit. King Sid and Smooth Geo, they are YouTubers. They had a little beef about a female or something like that. They came together and they said they was going to fight. Smooth Geo got his ass beat by King Sid. So I said, I will beat your fucking ass for acting smooth. Smooth Geo got his ass beat. Call me Sid. Sid beat Smooth Geo ass because hey, he was trying to act tough, act smooth and shit like that. His name is also Smooth Geo. Bitch, you ain't strong. You went hard for a week. You ain't strong. You ain't solid. You only went hard for a week and you think that you doing something? Stop it. Get some help. 
and then strong and hard. They have some resemblance. Damn. Plus, you got the cap for the low because you work at Liz. Brooklyn Nets fans, y'all bandwagon niggas and shit like that, hit me up. Whenever you working at a store and shit like that, I'm pretty sure you get a, a worker's discount or whatever the fuck they call it and shit. I'm pretty sure you would get a discount. So you get the cap for the low. Instead of it being $30, $35, you can get it for the low just because you work there. Now you got the snap back like you on the street. I just got done saying, plus you got the cap for the low because you work at Liz. You got that cap now because you work at Liz. Usually niggas get snapbacks. Ain't nobody getting no other shit. You get a snapback. Snap. Now you got the snap back like you on a streak. And then think about it. If you on a streak on Snapchat with somebody and shit, you get the snap back. That means if you streaking with somebody and you send it, oh, just random pictures of anything, maybe a dick. They call them streaks whenever you sending uh, messages back and well, sending pictures back and forth on Snapchat. Running like a pacer when I'm on this fucking beat. Running like a pacer, the pacer test, when I'm on this fucking beat. That's what I was doing. I was running the fucking beat. I ain't trying to get swept by the Miami Heat. Think about the line before. I said, running like a pacer when I'm on this fucking beat. I ain't trying to get swept by the Miami Heat. Think about it. At this time, the the Indiana Pacers, they just got swept by the Miami Heat in the 2020 NBA playoff bubble and shit like that. So, of course, all of that links together. Running like a pacer when I'm on this fucking beat. I ain't trying to get swept by the Miami Heat, so I stand 10 toes like my fucking feet. Whenever you stand in 10 toes and you stand solid and shit like that, I ain't trying to get swept by them. So I'm going to stand 10 toes and not allow that shit to happen. Once you send it up, it's stuck. And I can't even wish you luck. She love me. I don't give a fuck. She horny. Better I make a buck. Now that line right there, I'm just talking about shit. Hey, once you send it up there, it's stuck there. Real shit. Once you send it up, it's stuck. And I can't even wish you luck. I can't wish you luck. Because you, hey, you decided to do that. I don't care if she loves me or not. I don't care no more. You know? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Was she horny? Bucks got horns and shit like that. That's what it, that, Whenever I see a buck, I be like, all right. They be like, what is that shit on his head? I be like, that's a horn. Like a buck, got the horns. No, okay, I'm sorry. Keep ice up on me like a puck. But you ain't got no ice on right now, my nigga. You got me, money. You don't think I got it? Yeah, yeah. I ain't got it, nothing on me or on my motherfucking uh, wrist or nothing like that and shit. But don't, don't get it fucked up, babe. Give me my shit. They think All right, daddy. Got me. Take it out. They think that shit fucked up, bro. You, you must not know me, my nigga. Give my baby. Fuck, you thought this shit was. Hold on, man. Now you gonna have to wait. I actually dissect that fucking, I dissect that motherfucking bar, um, while I'm doing this shit right now. Oh shit, damn, big head ass dude. But um, keep ice up on me like a puck. I was just simply talking my shit, my nigga. I keep ice up on me. Now, hey, I had to get get my shit from my bay and shit like that. I keep that motherfucking shit up on me. My shit pinging. Well, y'all need a light up on me, and then my shit gonna be pinging and shit. But keep ice up on me like a puck. Ice, a puck, a puck stays on ice. Whenever hockey players is playing, the puck stays on ice and shit like that. Uh, the puck is the little thing that slides across the ice. It stays on ice. Keep ice up on me like a puck. Come on, now. Stop fucking playing with your boy. They butt hurt because I'm on a roll. The way I said it, it sounded like they butt hurt. And then whenever you listen to it again, you can hear they butter because I'm on a the roll. They hate and really take a toll and I ain't even on the roll. Hey, the hate and all of that shit, that shit take a toll on me. It really don't, because I really don't give a fuck what people say. I was just talking my shit in that line. The hate really take a toll, and I ain't even on the road, so think about it, my nigga. Um, if I'm not even on the road and shit like that, y'all know whenever you driving, going long road trips, all types of shit, whenever you driving and shit, um, you go through them little mini checkpoints. So think about it. Those those are tolls. You got to pay the toll in order to get through the little checkpoint and continue your little road trip, wherever the fuck you going. Man, that hating shit, that hating shit do be fucking with a nigga. But just know, when I pop, you gonna love everything I drop. I can go. All right. Um. Now with that line, that shit, it it it, it was one of those type of lines where I told myself. I also had the little thing where I said, "Man, I'm done with this shit," and I had sat the headphones down. I think I said something like that, and then left because I killed this fucking beat. I can sit here right now and make a full singing song. As of now, a lot of people will not like it. Because I can't sing for shit. As I get bigger and shit like that, when I make a song like that, I can make that same singing song ten years, five years from now when I'm big and shit like that. Way bigger than what I am. And then people will love that shit. The bar inside of that is, when I pop, you're going to love everything I drop. Sometimes, you know, when moms be trying to flick your fucking forehead and then you move up. Like she trying to flick right here. You move up. Flick you and your shit. Get popped in the aisle. What do people normally do? They, you know, hold their eye. Oh, fuck. A lot of people also put eye drops in their eyes because they shit. It's the irritation. So when I pop, you're going to love everything I drop. I wasn't even rapping. I was just talking, you know? 
and it's just crazy too at the end of the day but yeah man that that was that was the pacer that was the pacer genius and shit like that i'm done i'm done yeah through babe go hey it's like 10 degrees outside hey my dick gonna be cold as shit unless you gonna warm it up for me my bad my nigga my bad but you will go warm up the car and shit yeah i got you babe oh you for sexy ass Stop. Hey, she bad it, bro. All I date is dimes, money. Y'all need, y'all niggas need to get like me. I bet your wife ugly as shit. Ain't you married too? My bitch ain't ugly. Yeah, you like milfs. You look. That's what you. All right, you I'm about to go. Shut the fuck up. Oh shit. Hold on. She gone. What's up with you? In the middle, of the camera. Yeah. See what's, what's up, up with you? you? Yeah. Kind of fuck <laughs> hey, you got my number, my nigga. Fuck you. You got my number, my nigga. Give him my number. Man, what the All fuck? Right. Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. Shit. Are y'all fucking? Because you, you kind of looked at me. Nah, we not. Nah. All right. Guess we is. Thanks for watching.